welcome to Cara's Spring Favourites. I thought I would do favourite videos because I like watching it, finding out about new products and there's no way I could do it monthly because I do not try enough things monthly. Um, so we'll do it seasonally instead. Shall we start with beauty? Shall we? Is uh, Colourpop. Um, specifically, what is my favourite? Is the Ultra Mats. Look at them. Is the Ultra Mats. Um, there's also, I've got another two, but one is a colour repeater and the other is a big one of a little one I've got, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, yeah, Ultra Mat, and then I've also got this highlighter and girl, that highlighter, mm, 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 got that glow. Um, this is a highlighter trio, it's the Waffle Highlighter Trio, highly recommend. And then I've also got a blush. Uh, basically, I really love Colourpop. I love the fact it is relatively cheap. Obviously, I have to pay more um, for it to get shipped. And equally, or when there's free shipping, then they're like, cha-chang. Um, but then, import tax. The dreaded import tax. And it's cruelty-free. And I've been actively trying to make my makeup bag this little makeup bag look at it as cruelty free as possible and i genuinely think i maybe only have two or three um things and it uh in there that are not cruelty free now when it's purely me running them out i won't buy them again um another favorite of mine is um a concealer I've been wearing. Once again, trying to make my makeup bag as cruelty free as I possibly can. I've always used, uh, since getting into makeup and stuff, Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer in the colour Soft Beige. Um, and obviously Rimmel London is not cruelty free, so I was looking for a cruelty free alternative and I stumbled upon across, across NYX or NYX, whatever you want to call it, and I really like NYX's lip products, and I thought, why the hell not, let's try its concealer. Now, I've done a swatch again, look at me go, um, of the Rimmel London, so that's the Rimmel London concealer, and that's the NYX concealer, so the NYX concealer is a lot more yellowy toned, which is actually great because your girl has very, very dark circles under her eye 98% of the time. Um, so the fact it's yellowy tone is actually better for me because colour spectrum, the fact that I have dark circles, yellow contrasts that. So then I look like, you know, like I'm not dead. This, Bio Ore. It's a deep pore charcoal cleanser. They have other products. They have like no strips, but it's mainly all charcoal based. I think they do have bicarbonate of soda stuff too. But this, this particular, this product in particular, is that the best way I can explain it is like mint original sauce, the stuff that makes it all tingly on your face. It's like that <laughs> on your face. But in the best way, like, it doesn't sting, but it tingles and you kind of, they're like, this is doing good. This is doing great. And I can confirm, although I have really bad blackheads all around my nose and, and here, um, they did visibly reduce after using this, but, like, not gone completely. And I think I only got this, like, maybe a month ago. Uh, I use it near enough-ish, every day-ish, kind of. I'm not very good with beauty and facial regimes and all that stuff. It's two products. It's Hawaiian Tropics Body Mists. Oh my god. So we were in... Well, we were in a Superdrug or a Boots or something. We were in the Wirral. Why we were in the Wirral is not important, but there we go. These, there's four I think, but these two were my favourites. It, like, obviously, it has no sun tap, like, sun cream, sun lotion, or whatever. It's literally just a body mist. But this smells like holiday. It smells like Florida, and it's the best. And it's warm sand and creamy coconut. And my God, if I could bathe in this, I would. Um, but then, this one is okay. It's not as good as old orangey, but it was two for something. Um... 
This one is Rain Kissed Orchid and Pomegranate. This one um, is a bit more flowery. My perfume, like the perfumes I tend to like, is maybe slightly flowery or smelling of food. Uh, <laughs> Like, uh, I love the sweet inspiration Zoella body misty thing because it smells of food. Um, like, all my candles smell of vanilla or cake or whatever, which really says something about me as a human. Now, this is slightly flowery. It's not too overpowering, though. But definitely get... I shouldn't say get the orange one because I want the orange one. And this one was the one that was, like, selling out quicker. So don't buy this product. If you do, if you know me, uh, I have tweeted about having it before. I have uh, eczema. I've had eczema ever since I was little. Um, it never really went away for me. Most people, it disappears for them. I wish I was that lucky. My my eczema, um, it flares up when it's cold. Um, but or, or you know, if I'm switching hand creams because the brand I was using stopped using, it stopped making the one I did use. Thanks for that, people. But I, on my hands specifically, I do get a rash here. It's virtually god now um but usually it's on my hands and on my hands i have uh dishydrotic eczema which is basically very small blisters all over my hands when it's cold when i'm started a new product and my skin just doesn't like an ingredient i don't know what that ingredient is because that's a whole other story and equally then when it gets hot so in the UK recently, it started to get very warm. So my ex has been flaring up. That's also, it happens on Florida. It, when we go to Florida, I have eczema very badly. It's hot, but I also think it's because they have a very high level of chlorine in their water as well. But something that has saved my life, and I don't know why I haven't used it sooner, Aveeno. Oh my God, if you have eczema or dry skin, or just get reactions every now and then, use Aveeno. So I've been using this one on my hand, which is uh, the Skin Relief Restoring Hand Cream. Um, that's great. Um, for the stuff on my neck in the shower, I've been using their bath and oil, bath and shower oil, just on my kind of neck, and I've also been getting a rash here. So, Aveeno. I don't know why, I, d I think it's because it was only really available in boots. And I know I did every now and then boots orders, and, but I bet I don't live in a ta like a big town, so I don't have a boots near me. But now they've started selling it in Tesco's and also in my local uh, pharmacist. So very readily available to me now. So I'm so glad it is because it saved my hands. We're going to movies. So technically, it was in spring. Uh, Logan, uh, the latest Wolverine film. I loved it. I love Marvel. I love the X-Men movies. I loved the different uh, different take of a, of a superhero movie it took. Kind of doing another genre movie, so like Ant-Man was kind of like a heist film, but with Ant-Man. A whole other twist. It was quite dark. It was dismal. There were action scenes, but it wasn't all kind of like CGI, CGI, CGI. It was kind of like punch in the face. Ah! Um, but no. It was very good. I highly recommend it. It was just such a different tonal superhero movie. I loved it. Free Fire. Um, it was a Channel 4 film. Not not on Channel 4, but one of the four films. Does that make sense? Film 4, that's the word. So, uh, it was a Film 4 film. Uh, it has Brie Larson in it, Army Hammer, Killian Murphy. Uh, the guy, he's a South African actor and his name always escapes me, but he played King Stefan in Maleficent. Also, the person who was the crow in Maleficent is in this film. There's a whole bunch of British, the whole bunch of British and Irish actors in it, and then Army Hammer and Brie Larson, and obviously the South African actor. Uh, but the best way I can describe Free Fire is basically the last 20 minutes of a, like, a movie where everybody's just like shooting at each other um, for reasons. This was a whole film, which 
and realised probably not selling it very well, but it was so funny that everybody's shooting at each other for reasons, their own reasons, everybody doesn't really care, they're within their own team, but at the same time they're fighting for themselves not to protect their mate, it's kind of like, well, a lot of it's, well, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, uh, not that high, but like shooting at one another, um, <laughs> I loved it. Not many people I know have talked about it, but I enjoyed it. Guardians of the Galaxy, another Marvel movie, volume two. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I actually preferred this one to the first one. The story of this one, it made sense. You got what the motive of the villain, which is very rare for a film. You don't really get why he wants to take over the world, but um, this one, you understood it completely uh, you're like alrighty then I'm on board I get I get it and uh, also the character development like this film definitely you you could miss it if you wanted to know the bigger MCU storyline um, you could probably miss that one out you would probably may not need it because it is very much a character development story yeah that that being said I do feel like it's it's definitely not a standalone like uh, the first Guardians I feel like you could have watched the first Guardians without watching any of the other MCU's uh, MCU films I feel like you definitely would have had to have watched at least Guardians of the Galaxy before watching the second one I mean who wouldn't do that but I mean people do so i enjoyed it i i love rocket i think everybody loves groot i am groot i do however think that the soundtrack was better on the first album than the second one um i feel like it had more significance to me i grew up kind of more listening to like i ain't no mountain high enough i grew up listening to more of the first album songs than the second album songs which i feel like maybe why i prefer the first one soundtrack more hello cat meow hello are you going to say hello to the video are you going to be my spring favorite no oh, she isn't this is Cass. yay hello code is in his bed she is not my spring favorite because She's annoying and breaks my ornaments. Pirates of the Caribbean 5 is also one of my favourites. I will go out on a limb. It's not the best Pirates of the Caribbean film. Oh, sorry. Um, it's not the best Pirates of the Caribbean film. However, I just love that world. I talked about it in the last video. I just love Pirates of the Caribbean. It was a great yarn. It wasn't the best Pirates of the Caribbean film. It was not the worst Pirates of the Caribbean film. I still rate this above the world's end. On first watch. It may change second watch. And I think I'm just pissed at the fact that young Jack Sparrow doesn't exist. And it is literally just Johnny Depp that the wonderful, wonderful CG people frame by frame made him look younger. And I'm so mad that he, it isn't an actor that exists because my God is so good looking. And so many people gone, but it doesn't look like young Johnny Depp. It's not meant to. It's meant to look like young Jack Sparrow. And Jesus, I would jump that person's bones. Because, oh my God, he's beautiful. Miscellaneous. Jake Gyllenhaal and Ryan Reynolds bromance is a favourite for, for spring. Um, if you don't know, they were promoting our film, whose name has escaped my head. Editing Cara, flash it up now. There we go. I didn't watch that film because it probably would have scared the bejesus out of me because i do not do horror films i won't even watch alien i don't like getting scared at all hate that feeling uh but just watching the press junkets of jake gyllenhaal and brian reynolds i want to be both of their best friends and i really really want jake gyllenhaal to be in deadpool 2 now um i think it'd be really interesting even if it's like a cameo just for them to like bounce off one another there we go i just that bromance Sudoku's, uh, Sudoku, 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 it probably is Sudoku, um, so I say Sudoku, um, anyway, those, I, I've been, I've, I've always loved a Sudoku, but I kind of go in and out of doing them, and I've been getting really into doing them again, uh, this, this season, 
Um, I don't know why, I just have, and I enjoy them greatly. Um, uh, books. The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. Uh, this is actually a signed, uh, copy. Ah? Is by the writer of A Monster Calls. This is genuinely the first book I've ever read by Patrick Ness. And it's basically about when the world's ending and, like, the kid who has to deal with the vampires and the ghosts and whatever... Um, they're doing their thing, but what about the rest of the town that are just, they're just living there. What do they do? What, how are they dealing with their lives? And it is about, um, that. It's about the people that aren't dealing with the end of the world stuff and they're just going, oh, isn't it weird how that kid disappeared? Yeah, why aren't the grown-ups thinking it's something weird? I don't know. Um, but that's basically this entire book. It, I liked it. As my first Patrick Ness book, I know a lot of people sa were saying that it's not as good as this book or that book, but because it was the first Patrick Ness book I read, I thought it was fantastic. And there's two. The Charles of Apollo, book one and book two. I read them both this, se uh, this season. Uh, this season's like fashion week. Um, I love the Heroes of Olympus. I love Percy Jackson. I love Rick Reardon. If you love that kind of thing, boom. Apollo is the sassiest mother ever. He just kind of want to be Apollo's friend. Uh, basically, um, the Lord God Apollo gets sent to Earth in human form with none of his powers um, as a punishment by his father Zeus. And it's about him finding their demigod. Percy Jackson does appear in the first book just to let you know um, and it's about him kind of going through these trials to get the oracles back because he is the god of prophecy so needs oracles um, so there you go I hope I haven't spoiled anything by that but if you like the Percy Jackson series I would say probably more if you loved the Heroes of Olympus series which I liked Percy Jackson I loved the Heroes of Olympus you will love the Trials of Apollo because it mixes the Roman and Greek myths still. I think it's just music now. Uh, I do have a copy of it, but it's over there. Um, Harry Styles' new album is fantastic. Um, after hearing the first song, uh, Sign of the Times, I was a bit, ooh, yeah, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I enjoyed it, but I would say, like, Harry has such a good rock voice that I was there, like, oh. I hope there's at least one song and there's a couple and my god Harry Styles. This is it, whenever I film a video all song titles go out of my head. But I like the album, I think the album is great and I wish I'd got tickets to see him live because I love Harry. I, when I've, I've seen One Direction twice live because yes I'm one of them people. <laughs> but um, I've seen them twice and both times. Harry and Niall both really stood out for me as amazing uh, live acts. They're just funny, they have a laugh. Naughty Niall is my favourite, speaking of which I really like. Slow hands, not slap dripping on a dirty laundry. Slow hands, ma 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 there you go, I love slow hands. Uh, other music, uh, I finally got to see one of my favourite bands, it's been like, I think god seven years six years um when my friend from a band called before you exit who are actually based in orlando uh connor said listen to mariana's trench i finally got to see mariana's trench live this year um this spring uh, they oh my god they exceeded everything like i expected and so thank you connor once again for introducing me to them all those years ago and i finally got to see them live after being a fan for this long and oh, josh ramsey's vocal range is just out of this world and oh so good but they also their opening up was a band called Club Drive. I don't know how I hadn't heard of them before, but they were really great. Uh, they have an EP called Dangerous, and I highly recommend that too. So there we go. That was my favourites for this spring. We had a bit of beauty, we had books, we had miscellaneous, we had music, a bit of everything. I don't know whether I'll be able to do this uh, for every single season because I don't know whether there'll be that many beauty things because I don't really try new beauty stuff because I'm a creature of habit and when I find a product that works I use it to death until I have to find something new 
but there will always be music and film that I will always talk about and probably books. Thank you very much for watching, uh, subscribe, thumbs up, all that stuff, uh, find all my social medias below, let's start a conversation and yeah, see you soon!